Hi. I'm going to the top of the primary six. I'm going to the ninth of the primary three. Right now here. What's the what? English rhetoric. There are the first part was similes. So for this lesson, we're still at taste, right? Yes. Okay, for these parts of similes with the tastes, can I give one example first? Of course! That's what I want to see. Okay, in this example, although it is a taste, but it is about something else. It's not bitter, it's not sour, it's not... Wait a second. Nutty? I just got the nutty feeling. And it's just... Tastes of nuts. What a fruit cake. A fruit cake is There it can be fruits contained inside this cake. There can be some other like greenish, a little bit transparent, reddish, all those different types of like drops. Okay. Contained inside this cake. Okay? Yeah. Now nutty as a fruit cake. Are there nuts inside this fruit cake? Not actually, but in this, guess its meaning. Mean that it's not nutty? Not exactly. So what could it be? Oh, it's You describe great. this with the person. Idiotic. You can describe this person with crazy. Idiotic. Idiot. Okay, so only not a very good word these two, but they are true that if a, if an idiot you can call an idiot a, a idiotic person. Okay, but a uh, more kinder way to say this is not as a fruit cake. Yeah, because if you say idiotic, it's a bit you know direct, very direct, right? Yeah. For this first meaning. So what can we use for this first meaning? This guy is not the end of the The manor? Oh, I thought you wanted to see the manor jump. Okay, the man screaming. During midnight. Is... Nutty at the fruit cake. Okay, so you know that actually in the past we are sure about a lot of things. They might be true, they might not be true. Okay, well these are just like, when you put them in the stories, they don't have to be exactly true. Yeah, they might, they might not. Okay, for this second meaning, what could it be possible? You can say that. Okay. This person, that means is very... Oh, you're going to say, hey, Jerry? Jerry, he don't even know how to solve the easiest question in this paper. He is nutty at the food cake. Okay, so what is this part? He do not even know how to solve the simplest questions. Right? Yeah. So, you can just write it as a simple sentence. Jerry is as nutty as a fruit cake. Here is why. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so here we already have one of these similes with two meanings. So, let me give another one. Sweet as a honeybee. Okay, you're saying about sweet as a honeybee. So you're saying about honeybees. So what does it mean? 
Let's see. Are honeybees sweet? No. But the honeybee makes honey, right? Yes. Which honey is sweet, right? Okay, yes, honey is sweet. So it means that it's Unless so... you say it is the kind of bitter honey. Okay, so that means it is sweet. Okay, so let's think about the meaning of sweet. Yup, you can say it does. You don't need to capitalize this F, right? Okay, okay. Okay, this fruit is sweet. Okay, or you can also put that S. It is as sweet as a honeybee. Let me guess. This fruit can be honey melon, right? Yeah. But it could be something else. I wasn't thinking of that. Okay. This fruit is as sweet as a honeybee. So basically you're saying that this fruit is sweet. Yep. Okay, okay so what else can be sweet? Sweet. Sweet. Okay, fine. Let me just tell you an apple. Okay, apples. Yes, some of them are sweet, but some are sour, right? Yep. Are those green apples. And those, sour. and those red apples are more juicy and sweet. Okay. So let me see. What if I use something about taste bad like something? Okay, so let me ask you. What if I say taste bad as whip? Wait a second. As a whip, right? As a whip. If you Wait want to add second. on, like yeah, a whip from... The barber. But there's one problem. Uh, wait, we can't wait. It's a wig. How can you say it tastes bad? Well, if you've realized about these wigs, they're actually like hairs, right? Yeah. Would you like to eat hair? Mm -mm. Although sometimes I so, accidentally so eat So it will like taste bad, right? Yeah. So it means just taste bad. Okay. Or bad taste. Both can. Okay, here it is something about tasting bad. So what could we Taste use? Bad as as a week. <laughs> okay. So we can say something tastes bad as a week. Okay, so so the meat tastes bad. As a wig. Okay, all the sentences can just end here. But wait, this may be just too simple. If you want to add on some things, can you add on? Of course. Duh. Oh, but like adding your own thoughts. I will. Okay, you can say I. Wait, for me, I can say I will never eat this again. Okay, you might have that thought. But what if you have eaten these times before and uh, it tastes very nice? And suddenly it tastes bad. Yes. That's good. I wonder whether the organs... Oh, I wonder whether that had this been made properly? Processed? Properly. Or carefully, right? Yeah. This you can add on to increase your okay. This is add in a thought, right? Yep. So it makes it more interesting, right? Yeah. They'll give you another question to question yourself when you read this. Am I right? Yeah. So that means it makes it more interesting. So next part, what do you want? Again, sweet. Okay, you want another sweet. But I gave you a clue again. Like last time, S. Sweet as S. Another clue? Okay. 
Sugar? Yeah. Sweet and sugar. Well, of course, we know sugar is sweet. Like sugar cane, you can get it from... So, you already under one part of this question, but I still have two more parts that you have to answer. You mean uh, someone's character is sweet, so the person is kind. You already say the answer? Done? Wait, the third part. What does it mean? Is it the action? Is it... S again? S? Okay, again is sweet, but this is a different meaning. So this is for sweet taste, right? Then what's the other one? Sweet voice. Okay, sweet voice. Like or this. here is the sweet taste, right? Yep. Okay, you can add on that taste right now here. As these two are both sweet, but they are different things. Okay? Okay. So for this part, sweet taste. What can you say that I have a sweet taste? Let's see. Food, drinks, right? Yeah. So, this. Okay, so why don't. These are. These are the. Add, add the, the. Okay, dessert. Dessert tastes as sweet as sugar. You can say, I love it. Right? Yeah. But I wanted to write in another one. I hope to taste it again someday. I want more. I want another serving. Okay, I want another serving. So that means you want like, it can be another bowl, right? Yeah. Okay, bowl. Then we we'll say someone is as sweet as sugar. Okay, you want to say, hey, she helped me up. When I fell or fell down, she helped me up when I fell down. Or you can say fell down what? Also can. She is sweet as sugar okay. or as sweet as sugar. Okay, so you have that. Then after that, we'll be able for the part of a sweet voice. So, what can you say about a sweet voice? A person's voice. A bird's voice. A lullaby. A lullaby, well, it's a singer, right? Yeah. So, I can say... But not everyone really like it, but to so, me... At least is the writer, right? Yeah. Okay. This lullaby. Well, let me just tell you, lullaby is a song. Well, mostly for like babies or just small child. For them to sleep. Okay, so you can have that. So this lullaby is sweet as sugar for me. Okay, how about I give another one? We have spicy, right? And by the way, but I forgot on this. Okay, we have spicy, right? Yep. I write it in another form. Hot. Hot. Okay. 
But what can it be hot as? So hot as beef something. Bean. Okay, so how to pronounce beef? this? Vindaloo. Okay, this is Vindaloo. Like one type of this, how to cook this beef. Yep. And beef Vindaloo is really spicy. Okay, so this is referring to spice or spicy, right? Okay, hot as beef Vindaloo. So what things can be spicy until this level? Um, Do you know what of these things can be as spicy? Make a guess. Small pepper. Small I mean, pepper? Yeah. Okay, maybe. But anything else? The food, right? So it's about something you eat. Right? It's D A not D B. Okay. It is Vindaloo, okay? So for these parts. Okay, you can continue. So let me just say about this. So to taste that spicy, it is it's definitely something you eat, right? Uh -huh. After you eat, then you feel that spicy taste. Well, it just activates our heat senses on our tongues so that we feel that it is spicy. Yeah, so what can be hot? Spicy. Veggies? Okay, vegetables can. And this vegetable is hot as bean vindaloo. Okay, maybe vegetables. But what if I put these vegetables and some meat in one place? And then I mix them together. I might add some sauce inside. What do you call salad? it? Okay, yes, salad. And usually what will you add? You add salad sauce. Okay. We always you say the sauce, we always call the sauce salad sauce. It is hot as beef. Vindaloo. Vindaloo. You can add in your own taste as some of us might like spicy the spicy taste some of us don't like. Okay, so you can add in on some of this. It may be as you can say tongue is on fire, need a lot of water. I can eat a whole horse out of water. Okay. Okay, so for all of these, all about similes, right? Yeah, so let's see. The first one is saying about a man that is screaming at a fruitcake. Although it's weird that you're comparing a man with a fruitcake. But it's not completely comparing like that, right? Because there are actually other meanings. Jerry and a fruitcake. Fruit, honeybee, meat. Fruit, honeybee, meat and a wig. And a wig. <laughs> Dessert and sugar. The person and sugar. And sugar. Lullaby. A song and a sh and sugar. Salad, Salad and beef, beef vinegar. Okay, so are you all clear for this lesson? Yeah, so now we're and here next time we'll continue with the similes. And if, if you like, like our videos, video, don't, don't forget, forget to hit subscribe to our channel. And hit that like button. We'll see you in the next lesson. And Thank, Thank you, you for your watching. watching.